a hiker is lost in the Swiss Alps, the ski lifts were broken down, and the usual walking paths were out of order, so he did his best to find his way around the mountain. But as the mighty mountain gave way to an almost entirely deserted town, the wilderment turned to worry. In August 2016, the scenario was described in a post that appeared on Reddit. The article quickly struck a chord with its users, and not just because it opened up the gates to some clothes will feline-related puns. No, writing under the name SC4s2CG, this Hungarian Redditor told a story about a furry friend that sounded familiar to several other Redditors too. The Opai story began in picture as Lauterbrunnen, a beautiful village nestled in the country's biggest natural conservation site's Lauterbrunnen Valley. Skiers and hikers come here from around the world to experience the adventure of exploring the Swiss Alps. Indeed, the village is close to a world natural heritage site called Swiss Alps Jumfrau Lech, situated 2,631 feet in the mountains. Because of such high elevations, isolated areas in the Alps aren't even accessible by road vehicles. Tourists and locals have to rely on their own two feet or use cable cars for transportation. Naturally, snow sports enthusiasts also visit the Alps and take advantage of skiing on the mountain slopes. In fact, the Opai had been staying at Loud Harpoon's Valley Hostel and had gone hiking to take into some of the area's incredible views. The lifts weren't working, and some of the trails were closed. So what I did was follow a roundabout trail up the mountain, and then follow those ski lifts. Further, SC4's 2CG explained on Reddit. It seems that the poster had his side set on one of the highest points of a neighboring village. Eventually I got to the top and decided to follow a train track into the middle of a totally empty town. He wrote, Unfortunately, the Opai had sprained his ankle the previous week, so I wasn't wanting to make this hike too strenuous. However, being isolated in a deserted town in the middle of the mountains while nursing an old injury sounds just like a setup for a horror film, but it would be difficult to get scared in such a stunning place as this one. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Yes, the Opai had stumbled into the sleepy little village of Gimmelwald, which sits in the mountains above left. Discovering such storybook beauty must have been like finding a lost treasure. Gimmelwald is in fact a small rural village in Bernis, Overland, Switzerland. According to Gimmelwald.com, many visitors have fallen in love with the village's sleepy lifestyle and have a saying. Apparently, they state, if heaven isn't what it's cracked up to be, send me back to Gimmelwald. Set high in the mountains at 4,472 feet exactly, Gimmelwald is one of the places that you can't reach by road. In fact, the town boasts no cars, no TV, no newspapers, not even a food store. It's a different world. In 2003, Gimmelwald's entire population was marked at 130, so it is no surprise that with the end of the skiing season and shops closed, the village would certainly have looked abandoned to this Hungarian hiker. Still, the LP managed to find at least one store open. There was one shop owner, there where I got new socks from because mine were soaked. SC4's 2CG wrote, I hiked to the tip of the town, to what I think was a tavern slash restaurant with an amazing view of the valley. It was then that he realized he was lost. I was checking my map to see how I can get back to the hostel, and the only official way down was through a trail that was closed. The Opai recounted. Still, even with a sprained ankle, there were worse places to be stranded than this amazing locale. Just as he was trying to work out how he was going to get back to Lauterbrunnen, then SC4's 2CG had an unexpected visitor. That's how I met that handsome cat, he explained. She noticed me as I was eating a snack and resting my sprained ankle. The Opai was sharing videos of the trip with his family, so he recorded the cat's arrival. This cat just started meowing at me. He narrated. I started my walk, and she just started coming after me. The playful kitty seemed to like the attention and it headed off down the trail ahead of SC4's 2CG. As the Opai traveled further down the path, the cat stayed ahead of him. 
In fact, the cat was walking and kept looking at me to follow. SC4's 2CG reported. So with no better ideas, the opi decided to go after the cat and see where it led him. Thankfully, the little cat was on the right track. SC4's 2CG wrote, She led me straight to the path that would take me back down to the valley. At the end of the videos, where we separated, she went to that farm-like place on the right, through those trees in front. With her job done, the guide cat wandered off and left the LP on the trail, leading back to his hostel. Strangely though, after other Redditors read SC4's 2CG report, some of them seem to recognize the friendly cat or one similar to it. In fact, one poster identified the cat as belonging to a couple who run a local hostel. There are some people who think the cat's motives are a little fishy and suspected. It might have just been on the hunt at local places for food. There may be a whisker of truth in there, but regardless, the story has become a viral hit on social media. Although we won't be seeing felines trained to find lost people in the mountains anytime soon, we're sure that a C4's 2CG was happy. The cat came along when it did. As one fellow Reddit commenter said, it is just one of the many brave and dedicated Swiss guide cats doing its duty, asking nothing but a friendly pat in return. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again. And we'll see you in the next one.